Um, welcome to DIY Film Club. As in a moment, I'm going to do my uh, regular check to make sure this sound is definitely coming through. But anyone out there, thank you for joining us. Hello. Fantastic. I know you can hear me. Um, I know the question in your mind. Your, the question is, Chloe, this is the fifth DIY Film Club. Have you still not figured out really how to do green screen? And the answer is, yeah, obviously still having issues. At some point, I will sit down and figure these things out. But the high production values that you're going to see tonight are not the ones from me. They're the ones from the contributors. Um, if you are not familiar with DIY Film Club, basically every couple of weeks we pick a different film. So far we've had Labyrinth, Die Hard, um, Jurassic Park, Titanic. Um, and we then spend two weeks just recreating scenes from it from our own homes. It's going to be a bit of a whistle stop tour of The Matrix tonight. Um, but we have some incredible scenes that people have made, like the amount of effort and love is genuinely wonderful. Um, and as always, I will be tenuously hanging things together um, as a narrator um, from the film. So let's get straight on with it. Some people have made some incredible things. Um, so we will head over now to the narrator. Um, and considering we've had, we've had Nakatomi Plaza, we've had the Labyrinth from Labyrinth. Um, so in a moment, we will see who the narrator of The Matrix for this week is. Um, enjoy. You can see that I've worked really hard because the paint's that fresh, but yes, hello. It is me, a bunch of slow motion bullets um in front of some brutalist uh urban architecture um the perfect narrator um is my highlight the the kind of absolute peak of my existence was being featured in the matrix um would you believe this took longer to do than the exploding nakatomi plaza from two weeks ago who knew anyway um it's been a while since I thought back on my time uh, in the Matrix um, and everything that went down then. It's probably, let's say, about 20 years. So it's going to be interesting remembering those times. But basically, for any of you humans out there who are watching this, I've got some unfortunate uh, and difficult news for you. You are all actually just living in a kind of womb, like a robot womb. Um, and normally, people have a much more atmospheric introduction to this kind of information, especially this one individual, Neo, um, played by someone who, he, he kind of looked like the guy from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, if, if you know what I mean. Um, you know what, he, he had a much more atmospheric introduction to this world than I'm giving you now. So let, maybe let's just think back on that. Do you want to know what it is? The Matrix is everywhere. It is all around us, even now in this very room. You can see it when you look out your window or when you turn on your television. You can feel it when you go to work, when you go to church, when you pay your taxes. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? That you are a slave, Neo. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage, born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. A prison for your mind. <sighs> Unfortunately, no one can be told what the Matrix is. You have to see that for yourself. This is your last chance. After this, there is no going back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and you believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. So, 
Neo went down the rabbit hole uh, picking that pill. Actually, I think I may have cut off some of the end of that scene and it's so lovingly made. So let's take a little trip down memory lane again. I'm so sorry. Do you want to know what it is? The Matrix is everywhere. It is all around us, even now in this very room. You can see it when you look out your window or when you turn on your television. You can feel it when you go to work, when you go to church, when you pay your taxes. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? That you are a slave, Neo. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage, born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch, a prison for your mind. <sighs> Unfortunately, no one can be told what the Matrix is. You have to see that for yourself. This is your last chance. After this, there is no going back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and you believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Hello. Uh, for any of you who have uh, recently joined during that scene, no, I'm not someone who is graduating from some stereotypical uh, Australian university. I am a set of slow motion bullets um, and therefore the narrator for The Matrix. Um, so, as you can see, that's not normally how people are introduced to the concept of the matrix, much more poetically than I put it. But yet yeah, you are all just in big robot wombs. Sorry, you're kind of batteries um, and the world isn't real and it's really deep and philosophical, um, but also easily co-opted by incel groups, it seems. Um, anyway, there's, there's a lot that I don't remember. We're gonna make some big jumps in the story you might have heard here. Um, Ah, hello so much to uh, Blacksmith UK uh, who's joining. I'm very excited for your scene that is coming up. It is incredible. Um, so let's move on with the story. Neo, he is the Bill and Ted lookalike that we are following through all of this, also known as Mr. Anderson, um, has been followed by sketchy, strange, uh, suited individuals for a while, but then takes that pill and follows Morpheus and wakes up literally unplugs his own head, uh, meets Trinity and a whole host of other individuals who are living in the rather grim reality that is currently ruled by robots. However, they can, using their phones or phone lines, go inside the Matrix. A lot of stuff happens. There is a, a really cool fight in a subway that I'm involved in. There's, there's some of me there, you know, old slow my bullet friend. <laughs> It's fine. Chloe, the, the person who does this is, um, she's, she's having a re she's at a really good time in her life right now. <laughs> anyway, there's a slow-mo bullet fight in a subway. Um, there are incredibly cool scenes where someone manages to learn Kung Fu in just a few short seconds because all that information just has to get downloaded into your brain. There's a whole thing where they explain that twins, they're just a glitch in the, uh, glitch in the system as is deja vu. 
it's all incredibly cool but also very deep and philosophical and there is a bit about how spoons don't exist however nothing can ever go that smoothly there's always going to be fractures in a team there's always going to be people who maybe in the deep philosophical questions that the matrix poses think that things not being real well if they're nicer does it matter do we have a deal mr vegan you see I know this steak doesn't exist. I know that when I put it in my mouth, the Matrix is telling me it's juicy and delicious. After nine years, you know what I've realized? It doesn't matter. Then we have a deal. I don't want to remember nothing. Nothing. You understand? And I want to be rich. Someone important. With a viable job. Like an actor. Anything you want, Mr. Reagan. Okay. You get my body back to the power plant, log me back into the matrix. I'll get you what you want. <coughs> Morpheus. So, um, that was Cypher, who everyone knows is a bad guy. Or at least everyone kind of knows now because it was well chronicled in, you know, world famous films. If you want to see exactly how bad a guy Cypher is, I mean, I could tell you or I could show you. You first, Neo. Just one duh. Hello, Trinity. Cypher. Where's the tank? You know, for a long time, I thought I was in love with you. I used to dream about you. You're a beautiful woman, Trinity. Too bad things had to turn out this way. You killed them. What? Oh, God. I'm tired, Trinity. I'm tired of this war, I'm tired of fighting, I'm tired of this ship being cold and eating the same goddamn goop every day. But most of all, I'm tired of that jack off and all this. Surprise, asshole! I bet you never saw this coming, did you? <laughs> God, I wish I could be there. When they break you, I wish I could walk in just when it happens. So right then, you'd know it was me. You gave them Morpheus. He lied to us, Trey. He tricked us. If you'd have told us the truth, we would have told you to shove that right pill right up your ass. That is not true, Cypher. He set us free. Free? You call this free? <laughs> All I do is what he tells me to do. I gotta choose between that and the Matrix. 
I choose the Matrix. The Matrix isn't real. I disagree, Trinity. I think the Matrix can be more real than this world. All I do is pull a plug here. But there, you have to watch Apoc die. Trinity. No! Welcome to the real world, huh, baby? But you're out, Cypher. You can't go back. Oh no, that's what you think. They're gonna reinsert my body. I go back to sleep, and when I wake up, I won't remember a goddamn thing. By the way, if you have anything terribly important to say to Switch... I suggest you say it now. Oh no, please don't. Not like this. Not like this. Too late. God damn you, Cypher! Don't hate me, Trinity. I'm just the messenger. And right now I'm gonna prove it to you. If Morpheus was right, then there's no way I can pull this plug. I mean, if Neo's the one, then there'd have to be some kind of miracle to stop me. Right? I mean, how can he be the one if he's dead? You never did answer me before. If you're born into Morpheus' bullshit. Come on. All I want is a little yes or no. Look into his eyes. Those big, pretty eyes. And tell me. Yes. Or no. Yes. No! I don't believe it! <laughs> Believe it or not, you piece of shit, you're still gonna burn! Ah! <sighs> shit, you're still- How good is my memory sometimes? Like, gen genuinely, when I, a sentient glob of slow motion bullets, remember scenes like that, I'm just amazed at the production value of my own brain, frankly. Um, so yes, thankfully, Neo, uh, who is an incredibly important person, I don't know if you've already spotted what happens when you rearrange the letters of his name, hint. Um, Neo, an incredibly important person, did not die, was saved, and Cypher was killed. However, the thing is, what they've all been waiting for, everyone who is living outside of the Matrix in the real world, as, as in the one that we're not in, it gets a bit confusing, but it's easier if you just kind of watch all my memories in, in full. I, I mean, my first memory, don't worry too much about the other two. I don't think they're necessarily as important to watch. Um, but anyway, Neo, everyone has been waiting for someone like Neo, or indeed precisely Neo, because apparently there is one individual who will be able to beat the robots. There is one individual who'll be able to do things that no one else can, and there is only one individual who can really herald the beginning of a new dawn for humans where they are not simply grown as batteries for, for big robots. And there was one moment when it became clear precisely what Neo could achieve.
And that was the really well realized moment that Neo was able to see the matrix for what it was. Just computer code. Me, me, I just turned into a bunch of ones and zeros that were like slightly closer than the other ones and zeros to create more of an image. It's, I mean, I guess that's not technically how binary would work, but, but that's cause Neo. Um, there was also a bit where Morpheus got captured and some incredibly cool stuff on the top of some buildings and then like knocking a helicopter into a building, um, flashbacks to Die Hard the other week, um, and saving Morpheus and basically getting everyone back together to help ready themselves to save the world and you. I keep getting tangled in myself. Um, there's a lot, it's, it's harder being a sentient pile of slow motion bullets than people would think. Um, so that is, and that's really all you need to know. I mean, it can be, it can be boiled down to about 22 seminal minutes. Um, that's all you really need to know of what happens during the matrix. And so that is when I have to leave you. Seamless transition, um, even with the, the green paint still on my forehead, which shows you how fr I'm not some kind of hack that buys this kind of top quality um, costuming from Amazon or something. This is this is proof that I make it. Um, anyway, thank you so much for everyone who's been watching and thank you uh, to Sam and Sean and Leo and Ed and Sharmini, who were the, the prime contributors uh, for this week. Some really incredible, fun, beautiful, like genuinely well put together recreations this week. Um, if you are interested in doing this, like there is, there is no barrier to entry bar a Google form where you basically have to tick, yes, I'm a good person, um, and I'm not gonna, you know, bring any kind of bigotry or bias into this group. However, like we don't say that you have to have any kind of like experience or s special creative stuff. It's just, if you would like to recreate film scenes, then you're more welcome, uh, you're more than welcome to do that with us. So uh, I will put a link into the chat if anyone is interested in that. Um, Otherwise, please do check out things like Dungeon Manager, which is an amazing D&D uh, &D actual play show that um, Ed, who you will have seen there as Neo, does. Do check out Nature. Um, that sounds very generic. Um, it's, it's a scientific reporting uh, platform online that Sharmini does incredible stuff for. Um, I'm afraid I know a bit less about what... Um, uh, Sean and about what Sam do, but I, I think they're in the chat and they are more than welcome to plug anything that they would like to. Um, I'm just finding the Google form that I need to share. Um, and if you want to ever see updates about DIY Film Club, either follow um, this Twitch channel, which will have more streams um, over the coming weeks, uh, gonna kind of build up a bit in advance of Christmas because have some Christmas based plans afoot. Um, additionally, you can follow me at Chloe Mashta uh, on Twitter and the hashtag is DIY Film Club if you want to see what's happening. So the Google form link is in chat uh, if you're interested. Otherwise, have a, uh, a lovely Friday. If you ever want to watch any of this back or if you haven't seen our versions of Titanic, of Labyrinth, of Die Hard and of what was the other one? Jurassic Park. How did I forget that one? Um, then youtube.com forward slash dissolve theatre because it's using an old YouTube account and I haven't synced things up properly yet. Um, again, I will tweet um, at my account when that is uploaded to YouTube, but all our past videos there as well. So yes, thank you so much for watching folks and have a lovely Friday. Uh, oh yes, check out Cable Street Collective, which is uh, Sam's main creative project. So do check that out. And other than that, just have, have a nice weekend, everyone. Bye.